Uh, so we're back to an early start this uh, Monday morning. Uh, we have got uh, went ahead and asked our uh, helper to uh, come down to the uh, store early in the morning. Uh, we called into the store late last night and uh, asked if they could uh, um, get some pallets, uh, some uh, some seed potatoes, uh, because we plan on seeding um, seeding our potato fields today. We went ahead and. Uh, rented up a cedar, a potato cedar, or planter I guess you would call it, and uh, we've got, uh, from what I understand, four pallets of our four crates of seed potatoes uh, down here at the shop ready to go. So let's uh, go on down here and let's see if we can't uh, fill up our cedar and um, get over there to field 17 and 18 and start uh, Start putting some crop in the ground. And for those of you that have let me know about uh, about driving on the wrong side of the road, uh, I am making my best effort to uh, to drive on the uh, correct side, I guess. All right, so let's uh, let's pull over here. And cut off our truck. And uh, we'll probably need to take this off, and uh, we might as well take the back off. Um, stash those. So here we've got our uh, here we got our cedar. We got our four pallets of potatoes. We're going to go ahead and uh, jump on in our tractor here and uh, see if we can't get this cedar full, or planter I guess. I don't know why I keep calling it a cedar. Uh, get this planter full of potatoes and uh, see if we can't uh, head on over to the uh, fields and get started. Uh, we've already talked to our helper about uh, about her helping out with the getting this stuff uh, transported over to the field because uh, we're going to probably need to refill our cedar at least at least once if not twice uh, from what I understand it looks like we're going to need about 7100 uh, liters of seed potatoes to uh, to get these two fields seeded. Uh, so we've got 8,000 uh, units of potatoes. So we're going to uh, obviously fill this thing up and then we're going to put whatever potatoes we have left on the truck. Uh, we'll need to then drive our truck and the uh, the planter I did a, didn't call it a cedar this time uh, get our planter over to the uh, field and then once we get that, uh, once we get the planter over the field, uh, we'll use the truck and we'll take, uh, we'll drive our helper over to the other field where they can get started on the uh, manure spreading again. All right, looks like we've got that full. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can't put this on our truck. Now I know that this truck is auto load, uh, but I think it will only put like one or two pallets on the back under auto load. So I'm trying to uh, trying to maybe overload the truck a little bit um, so we don't have to make another run to the shop. Let's see if I can't get three pallets on there without making too much of a mess. Alright, so we got our truck loaded up with our three pallets of potatoes. And uh, I fast forwarded through that a little bit. I didn't want, uh, didn't need you all bothered with uh, seeing me try to manhandle those pallets and uh, 
make a make a fool out of myself so uh, went ahead and took care of that so we're going to uh, have our helper drive the tractor we're going to drive the truck because the truck is probably overloaded a little bit and we need to be very careful that we don't uh, have an accident with the truck get on down the road so you can see we got three crates of potatoes that's about the max that you're going to want to probably load up on this old pickup truck looks like the springs springs are holding on the back but uh, she's squatting a little bit that's for sure This old truck handles really good under a load. We've got a great mechanic, uh, mechanic Andy, over at the uh, GTX mechanic shop. Uh, he was able to do quite a wonder on this uh, on this pickup to uh, give it some pretty good handling when it's under a, under a heavy load like this. Just, just down the road here, and here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, swing on in here, and uh, we'll probably let's see here. We'll probably put this uh, over here on this uh, road between the two fields, and we'll just park the truck there. That should be a convenient place to refill the cedar or the planter. Probably just uh, park them here, right here in the middle. Let's park them right on here. Actually, we were going to. Uh, we need to take. We need to take our hired hand over, and uh, get them started on the manure again. So. Uh, Let's go ahead and take them on over there and uh, get them started back up in the field. It should be just over over the road here. Yeah, it's just down the road a little bit. So guys, I wanted to mention about a, uh, a post I saw over at FSUK, and uh, now it's just as good time as any to uh, bring it up. It looks like the Mappers Paradise crew is uh, going to be putting a map together, uh, basically for charity. Uh, all of the proceeds uh, from the uh, downloads of the map, uh, if you don't know, uh, Giants does pay map authors that are in the in-game uh, mod hub. Uh, four downloads. So if you have a apparently if you have a uh, a map that's rated um, four stars or higher, uh, you get the most uh, for your map as far as per download. If you've got a map that is I guess between um, three and four stars, you get a different amount. And basically, it just uh, I think this is the road to come into the field. Looks like it is. Uh, so they are putting together a map uh, to support, I guess, cancer research or uh, cancer, there's our tractor, or cancer care uh, in general. And uh, it looks to be rather interesting. So what it sounds like is that, uh, is that what they're going to do is once the map is out and in the in-game mod hub, 
uh, any money that they earn as a result of uh, of the map downloads uh, will basically go to uh, one of I think four different um, cancer research institutes so that was pretty cool uh, they weren't really asking for money uh, of course they probably will take donations of course uh, for this um, for this cause uh, but basically they were just saying all what you can do to help is just download the map and uh, give it a nice rating if you like the map uh, when the map does come out so it looks like the map is still very much in progress of being built uh, looks like they're going to have a custom seasons geo uh, for the for the map it uh, looks like it's going to support uh, the more realistic uh, support as far as the more realistic mod and uh, several other things so I encourage you to go check out the post over at uh, FSUK about it uh, I also actually took that post and copied it and put it over at PCSG uh, so you'll probably be able to find it over there and also it's I put the post over on the three dudes gaming network uh, so you'll be able to find it over there whichever uh, Whichever of those three sites is your flavor of interest, uh, you'll be able to find it there. So, I plan on uh, definitely downloading the map uh, when it comes time that the map is available. I have to say that it's regretful that probably everyone in the world at this point has probably been affected by uh, by cancer some way or another uh, they've probably have known uh, directly a family member that has been uh, diagnosed possibly a family member that uh, had lost their life as a result of it or or a close friend um, or maybe they themselves personally have had to uh, to battle that and uh, in the treatment so it's a uh, it's a cause that everyone I think can get behind um, so I look forward to it and I support them 100 percent in their plans for that map all right so I think we'll start our uh, potato planting right here and uh, just kind of work our way around I guess monumentous time guys this is our first uh, first quote seed in the ground if you will and I have to say I don't think I have ever planted potatoes other than possibly in a, uh, a mission so this is kind of a first for me also uh, we went with the small potato uh, planter uh, simply because I didn't feel that we needed to go with the uh, the six row job or the six meter job. Uh, we didn't need we didn't need that. Uh, it also required liquid fertilizer, and liquid fertilizer would have been a pretty costly uh, costly purchase to add to this. Uh, I do plan on using liquid fertilizer on our fields but I plan on uh, making our own liquid fertilizer going forward so I really didn't want to uh, to deal with the liquid fertilizer at this point uh, we will need to come through here and put fertilizer on this field to get it up to three three levels uh, but like I said we're gonna do that probably um, in early summer once uh, once we have growth on the field here once we get our probably our first uh, stage of growth uh, we'll come through with uh, fertilized sprayer and uh, spray these fields with fertilizer Once we get a headland done here 
and we can kind of square things off. Uh, we'll start making a bunch of up and down runs. So let me know, guys, what you uh, how you're liking this series. Uh, are you watching any of the other 24-day uh, uh, folks with their efforts? Uh, let me know. I'm very interested. I like to watch the other the other folks do their 24-day uh, videos. Uh, check out their strategies, and um, I have to say, on some of them, I'm a little concerned. Some of the guys that are doing 24 days, I'm a little concerned that they're uh, maybe working at too quick of a pace, and they may uh, they may find themselves at the end of 24 days of spring, uh, or basically not at the end of 24 days of spring, but they might find themselves at some point in spring with uh, with nothing to do because uh, they ran out of time, or not ran out of time, but they. Uh, they didn't pace themselves very well. Hopefully we're not going to have that problem because uh, we have another 16 days of spring to cultivate our fields and plant them. Uh, my goal is to be done the field prep obviously at the first day of summer uh, simply because there's not too much that we can plant once summer starts. Uh, we can plant corn and soybeans once summer hits but after that I think pretty much everything else is spring spring crop so like I said I wanted to get two headlands in here and then we'll do our north south runs on this field I really am enjoying this map uh, I like all of the fields uh, that I've worked on so far. Uh, some of them are quite challenging as far as the way the uh, the lay of the fields are. So I'm really excited and uh, eager to uh, to keep you through on this play. So all right, that should do it, and we'll start our north-south runs at this point.
All right, well, that's one field down with potatoes. We've already had to uh, fill up our potato planter once uh, with additional potatoes. And uh, our helper finished uh, putting manure on the field 31. Uh, called over and said that they were running low on fuel, so we went ahead and uh, helped them get refueled and uh, had them go ahead and hook up to the plow uh, that we left over here uh, so that they could... Uh, get started plowing that field and it looks like they are almost done actually plowing that field also uh, we've had a uh, threat of rain all afternoon thankfully it's held out uh, but we are uh, not sure what's there we go so we're having some issue with our planter here doesn't seem to want to put seed in the ground or put potatoes down in some spots of the field. I'll have to uh, check that out a little bit. It's probably based on the uh, way the terrain is as far as the uh, bounciness. So we're going to go ahead and finish this field off camera and uh, that will probably do us for today. Uh, it's a pretty big day to get our first crop in the ground of very soon to be uh, several other crops. Uh, so tomorrow we will probably be uh, starting to cultivate and uh, finishing plowing up field 34, which is the last field of ours uh, to be plowed up. And then we will be done our plowing and uh, we'll actually trade the plow in. Um, we won't need it for three more years. So there's no need keeping it in the sheds. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, trade it in, uh, probably for a piece of machinery that we're going to make use of far more often over the next three years than a plow. So until next time, guys, happy farming.